And now, a minute from our conservation partner, the Bonefish and Tarpon Trust. Hi, my name is Justin Lewis, and I'm the Bahamas Initiative Manager for Bonefish and Tarpon Trust. Today, I'm going to talk to you about best handling practices for bonefish. It's very important to crimp your barbs on your hooks prior to going out. That minimizes handling time once you have a bonefish next to the boat. And then also, we recommend you don't use anything less than 12 pound test tippet. This allows you to put pressure on the fish and get that fish in as fast as possible. When handling the bonefish, it's very important to keep that fish in the water for as long as possible. If you are going to handle a fish, it's very important that you use clean, wet hands. If you do have sun gloves on, it's very important that you take them off. They're abrasive and they can remove scales and slime from the, from the bonefish skin, which is protective layering. I know a lot of people like to use lip gripping devices. For bonefish, it's very important that you do not do that because research has shown that if you do use lip gripping devices on bonefish, 60% of the time you're going to damage the bonefish's jaw, which can inhibit them from feeding once you've released them. Whether it's your first bonefish, your biggest bonefish, or any bonefish in between, whenever you're out on a trip, everybody wants to take a picture of the fish that they've caught. So it's very important to have that fish in the water, get your cameraman ready. Once that cameraman is ready, you lift that fish out of the water. Once that picture is taken, you put that fish right back down in the water. It's very important to minimize air exposure. It shouldn't be more than 15 seconds that you have a bonefish out of the water because that will negatively impact its survival post-release. When handling the bonefish, it's very important not to grab the fish by the gills because your fingers touching the gills can cause them to the rupture and then that extra air exposure will also cause them to fuse together, which can negatively impact their survival once you release them. To learn more and to make your voice heard, visit BTT.org.